Hi, it's Thomas Grønnemark, the throwing coach. Yesterday I had the chance to watch the game Leverkusen against Stuttgart in the German Bundesliga. And Leverkusen have had a fantastic season where they're unbeaten in the Bundesliga. Leverkusen could seem like almost a perfect team since they haven't lost in the Bundesliga this season. But they actually have a quite big weakness. Leverkusen's throw-ins are, yes, not bad, but they show a big, big weakness there. So if we look at the numbers on throw-ins under pressure in the game yesterday, you can say that they had possession in 69.2% of the time. So that's a really, really good number. It's not fantastic, but it's good. Yes, of course, you always want to go after the 100%. And even though uh, it will probably not happen in, in many games, you, it's still a thing we want to go after. But again, 69.2%, that's quite good. But if we look at how many good situations do they come into on the throw-ins, it's only 23.1% of the time. And you can say that to only put yourself into good throw-in situations in 23.1% of the time, that's really, really low. So again, why can you have a possession on throw-ins under pressure on 69 and only come into good possession in 23? That's because a throw-in possession, that's not only about are you putting yourself into good situations, it's also about are you good at counter-pressing if you're not coming into good situation? What quality has the pressure of the opponents because not uh, it's not a lot of teams who are really good at pressing at throw-ins and then it's also about luck sometimes you have to be lucky with a deflection or with a duel and often teams are putting themselves into high pressure situations and it means a lot of duels and it's a little bit like playing in a pinball machine yeah you never know where the ball will go so yes 69 that's that's really good um, but but only coming into uh, good throwing situations in 23% of the time, that's really bad. So I think that, again, Liverpool uh, Kusen have had a fantastic season here, but if they should improve to next season, they'll probably have to look at their throw-ins, because if you ask me, that's their biggest weakness. And maybe you'll think about how did Stuttgart do in this game regarding the throw-ins, and they had a, a throw-in possession on 42.9%. So that's under average. That's not especially good. Of course, I have seen worse, but, but 42%, you can't be satisfied with that. And actually, uh, Stuttgart only came into positive throw-in situations in, in thirty uh, sorry 14.3% of the time. But again, we have to look at this game because when teams are coming into bad throwing situations it's often because of coming too close to the thrower making the pitch small or just in general coming too close to the thrower and 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 having small distances between the players throwing hurling the ball down the line in into a lot of players standing in the same area then it's also a big risk of losing the ball there um but one thing i saw in this match yesterday and it was both um it was both Leverkusen and Stuttgart it's a common mistake that so many teams are making and it's really important for me to say that this is not the exact positions of the the three situations that happen almost the same way but it's the same thing that happens for really many teams who does that so when you have a throw in at your own penalty area it's a challenge and it's a challenge for all teams in the world but you can also make it harder for yourself than necessary so what i see is that a lot of a lot of teams they are doing what i call short plus plus long so it means that either you just make the short throw in and and then for example to one of the one of the central defenders and then you have a long ball up there or you do some kind of shuffling in the midfield and then it ends up perhaps like a midfield coming down there, get the, the ball to the to the best foot and then shoot it up there. 
in in theory you can say that's good and you can also say that wow we it's much better to lose it up here than than to lose it down here and of course you could you're totally right but why not try to maximize your options of creating something good here the chance here is that teams are usually only thinking one or two steps ahead if you ask me most of the time only one step ahead and that's like okay short throwing the ball up there the big challenge with with the short throwing and then the ball up there is that they haven't prepared the space because while while this is made there's often a tendency that this player for example the niner will come a little bit closer they'll come a little bit down here maybe the winger or the second striker will come a bit closer there they're, they're maybe in a sandwich and of course again they can be positioned in many different ways so it means that no matter what type of shuffle you do first or or, or short throwing before the long ball this long ball will often come up here way too long or if it's flicked somehow it's just an easy ball for the central defender here of course they could this could, could look in, in in thousands of ways but again you have to think three or four steps ahead so if you want to make a long ball after shot throwing at your own penalty area yes you can do it but you want to prepare the space up here here so so you want to you want to have have niner up in the top you want to have the winner up in the top and then maybe the, the opponents will go here or some here but no matter what you can say that you want to make the space the pitch big so if you choose the short version first with the throwing or after shuffle you can for example make a chip in here and then it's much easier for those players to keep the ball you can make side runs you can make a, a, a how can I say a transition from that so again both Leverkusen and Stuttgart did this. This is a general challenge. One of many, many challenges, throwing challenges that teams have no matter where they play around the world. So again, this was my video around the biggest weakness from Leverkusen and what you can do if you want or choose to do the short throwing long ball uh, option there. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.